Good morning, Savannah. Thanks for waking up this here on a Monday morning today, February 2nd, which marks Groundhog Day. Let's find out if Puxatawney Phil or also General Beauregard leave. See their shadow today. Puxatawney Phil, we're going to go live with that here in a second. And also, like I said, General Beauregard Lee. Remember, if it sees its shadow, it'll go back into the hole, which means six more weeks of winter. Or how accurate that groundhog really is. And we'll find out later today once the sun gets up. And hopefully we'll see a early spring. That's what a lot of people want, and myself included. Hey, let's go live this morning before we look at live radar this morning. This is Puxatawney, Pennsylvania, and you can see the crowd is already out there. There is the picture of Puxatawney Field there. Someone's holding up a big event there and lots of people out there getting ready. It's shooting fireworks off this morning. And what a big event there. This is pretty neat to see alive this morning and all those camera lights. It seems like the field always sees a shadow for some reason, but of course we'll find out later. Take it a nice sight to see here on a Monday morning. Here's that live radar this morning. No fireworks here. No thunderstorms are we're seeing a little bit of light to even some moderate rain. Look at this near Stakesburg running up and through Sylvania. Seeing the moderate rain. Hampton, get ready. Grab those umbrellas this morning. If you're headed out to work and school, Baxley down to Blackshear, seeing some light rain. Also in Savannah had a few hit and miss showers that has moved through over about the last 15 minutes. You can see the back edge of the rain already has moved through Atlanta. This is going to be a quick shot of rain. First thing this morning, next 12 hours help play out as we go throughout the day. Plenty of clouds. At least I do anticipate by 8, 9, and up to about 10 o'clock. This will be the best chance we'll see this rain moving through after 10 11 o'clock still holding on to a few clouds along the coast at 12 o'clock but later this afternoon dry air works in also some cooler air filtering in and we'll see plenty of sunshine so umbrellas to start the day and then by the afternoon break out the sunglasses you'll need them uh, later today and looking at the hourly temperatures is not a day that we typically see the reason for that this is the warmest will be all day temperatures lower 60s to start out with those rain showers first thing this morning once the cold front moves through, we'll see clearing skies. You see by one o'clock, look how the temperature is going down. This will be the coolest part of the, the daytime, probably lower 50s as we go into the late afternoon, but plenty of sunshine, especially after three o'clock. So get ready for a little bit of sun, but unfortunately some showers this morning. And then another thing we're seeing too is gusty winds this morning. Winds have been out of the south, southwest will continue to increase between about 20 and 25 miles per hour. 10 o'clock this morning, seeing those winds along the coast at 20, gusting at times over 30 miles per hour. And you can see even in Beaufort later today at 3 o'clock, continue seeing westerly winds out of the west at 30 miles per hour. So hold on to that hat today. You'll definitely need to do that. And after we get through today, a chilly day on Tuesday, sunshine 54 degrees. After the cold start tomorrow morning, you have to maybe wrap up some of those plants if they're outside, 30 degrees, and then 62 on Wednesday, and then another chance for some showers late Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. And then the front moves through. Oh boy, here we go. Another shot coming our way. A big cool down coming. 48 degrees. That is daytime high on Friday with plenty of sunshine. And then what a rebound very quickly. Our winds shift back around to the south. Renee, Saturday and Sunday back up into the 60s. So, you know, I guess if you live here in the southeast, we can put up with that cold weather at least for one day there on Friday, but pretty good weather for the weekend. As long as that pretty weather.